We are learning new details about the man arrested in connection with a body found in a plastic tote box. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Christina Janes. This body was found inside of a shop located on East French Camp Road in Manteca. CBS 13's Kelly Ryan is live in the city with what we know so far. Kelly? Well, the suspect is indeed uh, behind me in jail, but there are still a lot of questions that are unanswered tonight. How a body ended up in a plastic bin and who it is. Now, the San Joaquin Sheriff's deputies were called out to the 2800 block of East French Camp Road in Manteca Monday night around 7.30 after a report of a gruesome discovery. A property owner discovered a body inside their shop behind their home. Detectives say that body was hidden inside a plastic tote box. During the investigation, deputies say they identified 34-year-old Eric Allen Wright as a suspect in the crime. He was located at a Weston Ranch shopping center in Stockton and was taken into custody, transported to San Joaquin County Jail. He is charged with murder in this case. Now, neighbors I spoke with say this is a very safe rural neighborhood developed by the owner of the home in question who passed away some years ago. Now, one neighbor told me that she had seen the sheriff's deputies come out to this home a half a dozen times in the past couple of years, but she didn't know for what reason. The sheriff's department says it is awaiting positive identification of the body and notification of the family. Now, Jenna Bedford, who says she knows the suspect, says her uncle has been missing for three days and was last seen with the suspect in her aunt's car. On a recent visit to her aunt, she says she saw sheriff's deputies at the automotive business her aunt and uncle run. They went there to ask questions about uh, the suspect. Now, officials say they aren't uh, releasing any more information to the media at this time. They say they're still investigating this case. The official cause of death is awaiting an autopsy and, of course, also toxicology results. All right, Kelly Ryan, live in San Joaquin County for us tonight. Kelly, thank you.